<laughs> All right. Uh, but it is time for our homework. Uh, so this week, staying on the Ring of Honor train, we have uh, from... Do, 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 do. What year is this? This is from the Ring of Honor 13th anniversary show, which I believe happened in Las Vegas. It was a throwback of the Young Bucks versus Red Dragon. That'd be Bobby Fish and Cow. Cool Cal O'Reilly. Cool pre Cal. And also uh, in the Red Dragon's corner was Shayna Baszler. Whose huh. name they did not know how to pronounce. No, they didn't. <laughs> so, and I think I saw, I heard the mention, but I didn't, I missed him. But I, I think Filthy Tom Waller was also involved in this match at some point, right? Uh, but uh, it was, uh, man, man, you forgot how good the Kyle O'Reilly Bobby Fish tandem was, right? And you forgot how good uh, 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 seeing a Young Bucks match in front of that hot Ring of Honor crowd was. Uh, at the time, so mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, obviously, I think we still get a little bit. I mean, at least uh, as we remember live crowds in AEW, I, I can't wait for us to get back to that. But uh, but it was also I'm just noticing the carpeting in this room. Like they definitely grabbed the convention center and set up a Ring of Honor setup in it. And when you get past the, you when you get past the uh, the the pads or the, actually the pads are moving and you see to see that ugly convention floor convention room at the Holiday Inn. Uh, uh, carpeting uh in this match but uh but anyways sorry sorry just a side note uh so also of note rocky romero talking about on commentary on commentary talking about the factions in uh oh god did i break it uh in uh in new japan at the time so a little mm -hmm. bit of educational piece uh there as well and i think and he was talking about cheating with trent beretta trent beretta his new tag team partner trent beretta before Who'd he ever beat? before <laughs> He had a question mark. So, yes. well, eventually, doesn't he, doesn't he still have a question mark? I think he. I think the question mark came back because I don't think they were using it with with uh, best friends uh, for the duration at AEW. No, but, they do because Justin Roberts even announces his name as a question. Well, now, now, yes, now, yes, oh, okay. but I, I don't think they were. But I could be wrong. It's been a while. Um. So again, Shayna Baszler is a part of it. Uh, gets involved. I think pulls a referee out at some point. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, you know, this was a fun Ring of Honor. I'm going to say Ring of Honor style, right? <laughs> match. It, it sure was a Young Bucks match. It, yeah, absolutely. And if you love the lug, Young you know, Lug Nuts, uh, the Young Bucks, then you're <laughs> you're all about this, right? Lug Nuts so. boot of the week. There you go, Lug Lugs boot of the week. God. <laughs> Uh, uh, George, uh, did you watch the match and, and what did you think of it? I mean, there are so many awesome, like, mixed martial arts uh, style counters in this mm -hmm. match. Yes. Like, uh, you know, you just forget how, you know, that part of Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly's skill set sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And, they, and how they kind of mesh together for this stuff, right? So. Yeah. I mean, this is a clinic, though. Like, I mean, anytime those, these two teams got together, it was mm -hmm. fun. And this just, you know, another chapter in the in the feud really and just little things there like the clip i just pulled up for the moment uh, was uh he was he was pulling back on 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 whichever young buck that is like from over top on the nose <laughs> you know uh good you know what i'll say i i n have never missed hmm. steve carino's commentary on young bucks matches whoa oh, 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 the super kick over the top oh my really God. you have a problem with that mike of course I do. Oh boy. When when you're announcing transition moves and screaming it louder than you do the actual finish of the match, mm -hmm. there's a problem. I think it's part there, of the there's, character. There's a problem. I think it's part of the character. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, oh, I'm not saying it's not part of the character. I'm saying it's a bad part of the character. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've seen weirder. I've seen weirder for sure. Of course. Um, <laughs> we all have. We, we, we watched the pay per view this weekend. Like, oh, we, hey. We've seen weirder, but I, I, I'm really glad Carino is not an AEW. Mm. Instead, and, he's and teaching that the, the announcement of the super kicks did not transfer over. No, 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 no. But it was a really, yeah. It was, it, wait, there's a chandelier in the middle of this too. <laughs> this is very much we got the convention center uh, room for this. So, but Ring of Honor is always good about them not looking like a convention convention center room. But uh, so, um, 
No, I, I think this is a good representation of uh, of uh, what they were doing around that time. You know, Red Dragon, uh, I think, what tag team champions in this. Uh, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they got the win on it, too, uh, with Shayna mm -hmm. at the end there. So um, I, 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 I'm curious to know more about the story that brought Shayna into it. She wasn't a wrestler at the time, at least full on, no. right? Like, if she was still MMA superstar Shayna Baszler, right? Yeah, I have a feeling she might. This might have happened because she's friends with Josh Barnett. Oh yeah, of course. So because I, um, I I was listening to an interview with Shayna that uh, Renee Paquette did, and that's how Shayna became interested in pro wrestling was through Josh Barnett. Mm -hmm, so I'm mm -hmm. sure Josh Barnett probably knows Red Dragon. You know, it would make sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. This is a good five, six, seven years ago, maybe. So, you know, she had not yet been popping up in, like, the Cleveland AIW uh, circuit up there. And, and I'm not sure what she did outside of Cleveland. That's when I, where I would see her advertise was for, for AIW uh, in Cleveland. So um, but it was an interesting look at that. And, again, seeing these guys, um, you know, before they've landed, you know, respectively on AEW and, and NXT, you know, so and and even I think I, I don't know. I saw an interview segment. I think Bobby Fish was being informed about the uh, undisputed situation tonight. So, <laughs> we're like Bobby, like, Bobby. Hey, what, what happened with my friends? Bobby, this random announcer backstage is going to tell you what happened while you were gone. So, <laughs> so and right now everybody is scaling the cage on NXT. By the way, uh, Bronson Reed, they, Johnny Gargano happening at this moment. So are we really that early doing this show? Oh, they're no, they're in a it's, run over. It's ten o'clock. Yeah, they're, it's ten oh five on here on the East Coast, and they're definitely still going with this match. So um, that'll be a fun watch. Also, don't be like Sorg and say, "Oh, cool, I can." It's actually the NXT's up the next day on Hulu, and forget that it's the hour long version of NXT. That was that was upsetting when we got to that. So, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yes, and oh, somebody's. Can I spoil? Can I spoil? It's happened. Um, it's happened. I don't know. Yeah, everybody else that is watching. That's why. Uh, Bronson Reed is your new North American champion. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, it was about time for that. They they got to they got to take the cute photo shoot with um mm -hmm. with Candice and Johnny's dog being a double champion. So yes, I mean, you know, yes, that's Absolutely. really all we need. That is all we needed. We had some great stuff at a. Uh, uh, they, apparently, it was a spa day for the ladies today yes. on NXT. So, but um, definitely recommend this match. By the way, the Young Bucks Red Dragon Shayna, with Shayna Baszler and the ROH Throwback is over on Ring of Honor's YouTube page. My homework for next week I have for everybody. Oh boy, it's more Ring of Honor, Mike. Oh my God! Just because I like I like shows that happen in weird places. Oh, okay. Boy. Oh, what? What are, you, what are you moaning about? I don't like Ring of Honor. We don't like Ring of Honor. The whole point is, Mike. The whole point is about exploration and experimentation on this show. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you're going to like everything you ex you explore and you do. Mike, be open to the possibilities. Sorg, I'm watching the shit, aren't I? Yes, you are. Be a, have an open mind, man. I do, but have I have an just, open mind. I'm sorry if a match with 35 super kicks in a row doesn't entertain me. Wrestling is art, man. No, it's not. It's not the way they do it. I will disagree on this one. It's video games. It's what? video games. What's video games? Wrestling it's, is video games? It's, yeah, it's when you're playing Mortal Kombat, you only know uppercut. That's a Young Bucks match from that era. Mike, do not sour on my Mortal Kombat style. Okay? <laughs> First of all. First of all. The only time I win online matches is when I, I'm on a good uppercut streak. Um, but <laughs> I just get fucking owned. Um, here's what I got. This one's for, uh, this one's for, uh, for Matt Carlin's out there. We're going to go with Cool Kyle again. Okay? We've had yeah. a lot of cool Kyle matches, didn't we? I realize that. I'm gonna make. I'm, I'm, we'll, we will not have a cool Kyle match after this. It is Field of Honor 2016. I have not checked this, but I have a feeling we'll have a familiar voice on commentary. Uh, field of Honor 2016. Where? Where is the field, by the way? Is this the one in uh, New York? MCU Park. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one in New York. So So Joe Dabrowski might be on commentary with us. And I'm sorry, that means Steve Corino will be too. Um, But Kyle O'Reilly takes on, help me out, Katsuyori Shibata. Oh, okay. So uh, that was a that was a banger. I remember that match. Yeah, yeah. So yes. I, one, it's on a baseball field. Two, might be somebody familiar listening or uh, on commentary. And three, it's 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 Sabata, man. So that's got to be a classic. That's for a little bit of Japan crossover. And then maybe after this, we'll pull up some New Japan matches that aren't forty-five minutes. I mean, I'd be satisfied if, like just finding non ring of honor so okay okay we'll do we'll do that after this maybe, maybe we'll have matt carlin matt carlin's picking a new japan match maybe okay. uh maybe we will explore elm i'm going to find another lucha underground match for please us. please put it in the mix put it in the mix but i do want to get something different after next week since i just backed the back to roh so that's it it is kyle o'reilly and shibata We'll just go with the last name. It will be linked on the show notes for the Wrestling Mayhem Show, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Uh, and that's Field of Honor 2016, but readily available at an easy Google search over on YouTube uh, for that.